They're not complete, but results are in from a majority of precincts. And they show our campaign in first place. Mayor Pete's been declaring a win for days now. Why should people believe your victory speech over his? Because I got 6,000 more votes. And from where I come, when you get 6,000 more votes, that's generally regarded to be the winner. Momentum is on the line in New Hampshire. This is your 2020 fix. The results for the Iowa caucus were not available Monday night for a few reasons, including issues with the app used to tally the votes, suggestions that individuals who were gathering the votes were not following the directions of the new rules put in place, and other issues in terms of how votes were gathered. If your candidate is viable, you stay with that candidate. You can't change your vote this time, okay? The New Hampshire primary is significant for a few reasons. Candidates that did not place in the top two or three slots in the Iowa caucuses are using this competition to prove that their campaigns are viable. I have great respect for Mayor Pete and the service to this nation, but I do believe it's a risk to be just straight up with you for this party to nominate someone who's never held an office higher than mayor of a town of 100,000 people in Indiana. Expectations are high for Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, given that they are competing in a state that's pretty close to their home. It is the moment right here in New Hampshire to choose the future we can build together. Other candidates like Joe Biden and Amy Klobuchar, who did not fare as well in Iowa, really need a high finish in New Hampshire. Buttigieg is hoping for a finish similar to what happened in Iowa that will convince voters that he is a front runner. Uh, with a message, you know, a team and a vision for where we need to go that uh, clearly drew a lot of people in.